As of the end of 2023, there were over 464 million podcast listeners worldwide. If there was ever a time to start investing in podcasting, it's now. But the problem is growing a podcast is not easy. But here's the secret. Adding a video element to your podcast can increase its reach in a multitude of ways. Right now, people are craving video content. A survey by Morning Consult found that 32% of podcast consumers prefer video podcasts, with figures over 40% for Gen Z and millennials. Their reasoning? Seeing hosts and guest facial expressions were really important to respondents, as was video helping keep consumers focused on the content. Also, by adding a video element to your podcast, you can open yourself to a wider variety of platforms. You might be surprised to hear that YouTube is actually the platform that most people consume podcasts on right now. According to an October study by Cumulus and Signal Hill, 28% of weekly podcast listeners say they use YouTube the most for podcast consumption. That's more than the next two competitors, Spotify with 15% and Apple Podcasts with 12% combined. And perhaps the most important use for adding video to your podcast is for creating social media clips. Being able to post video clips of your podcast onto platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts is one of the only ways to grow right now. I actually was once a full-time podcast host before I started here at Kapwing, and we had several short-form videos that went viral on TikTok with millions of views each, and that significantly contributed to the growth of our show. But here's the key with short-form, consistency is the most important thing. To truly grow your podcast, it's important to post really frequently, probably a clip every single day. But if you're making these clips manually, obviously this can take a ton of time and effort, but now making long-form content into short-form content with the help of AI is speeding up this content workflow 10 times. And that's why today I'm sharing with you guys how to turn your video podcast into five to 10 clips for social media in literally just a few clicks. With Kapwing's Repurpose Studio, all you have to do is upload your video and you'll get back many short form ready clips with automatically animated subtitles, speaker focus, so podcasts with multiple speakers are correctly and automatically being highlighted and automatically resized for vertical platforms. And the best part is these clips are all fully customizable and editable as they are formatted in a video editing workspace timeline because sometimes AI just doesn't get everything right. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to use this tool on Kapwing, all you have to do is click the first link in the description and follow along and let's get to it. Okay, so if you wanna follow along, you can just click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Cupwing's repurpose AI tool. You can turn one video into many very quickly. So go ahead and just click repurpose my video. Then here you're going to upload your video. You can upload it or paste in a link. I'm going to throw in this podcast episode, then just wait for that to upload. Once it's uploaded, you're just going to click generate clips. If you need to change your language, you can do that as well. Then it will start processing. This is a pretty long video. I'm uploading about an hour long. So it will take a little bit of time to upload. You can leave and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's about 15 minutes later. I have a bunch of clips that are ready for me. So it gave 10 clips. And initially what it does is it puts it into the nine by 16 aspect ratio. It adds subtitles and it uses speaker focus, which means it focuses in on whoever's speaking. You can see here, it uses the full screen when I'm showing a screen share during the podcast because that wouldn't fit in vertical. But then when one person is talking without screen share, it will punch in. These are also all changeable. So you can change the aspect ratio for all of the videos at once by clicking this and then changing it. You can do the same for subtitle style by clicking that and you can turn on or off speaker focus. So you can also see that it gives the videos a title and it gives you the transcript for what they are talking about in the video. And then from here, if you're happy with the video as is, you can click the export button or you can click edit as project and we'll open up the project in the timeline so you can make any edits that you'd like. So I'll click edit as a project. Then you can see it opens up a new tab as you can see, it loads in everything into the timeline, which is all completely customizable. I can trim, I can make edits. For instance, something that I might want to edit is right here. Greg has something to say at the beginning and it's not really related to the topic. It's more of just a joke. What I can do is I can open up the transcript here, which is already open and highlight all this. Then click the delete button. So I just trimmed with the transcript. So you can actually edit videos as easily as editing text now using trim with transcript. Of course, what I could do as well, I could open the audio tab and add in any music that I feel is interesting. Of course, you can do everything else like adding images, adding video B-roll with the videos tab and more. There's a whole video on how to use all the most popular tools in the editor that I would watch if you're interested in making further edits. I'm not going to go too deep into 
into that right now just because there are a ton of tools to use and you can edit any video as much as you'd like so then you just export the project and download it then if you go back to your workspace at the top now you'll see all of your clips in this little folder project right here you can see i have a bunch of them for different podcast episodes that we've done I'll check out this one. You can open it up and find all of your clips again. Any edits that were made will be ready in this sidebar here where you can open up their project again. Then of course you can make any new edits or download any of the other generated clips from here again. Now you can create 10 clips from your podcast in literally just a few clicks. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you guys make content for your podcast much quicker. I know how long it can take to do manually. I used to do it myself. Now I just use Repurpose Studio. My life is way easier. So hopefully this is helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content creation tips like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.